thank you all for coming out. Um, I, I have an announcement to make at, at the beginning, and Paul, I, I, I sort of apologize for not uh, for not telling you this sooner, but but it has it has to be said. Well, I was doing preparation for this debate and looking up various things and trying to come up with various arguments and counter arguments for the points that I knew or that I thought that uh, Dr. Hovind here would, would raise. And I started thinking about all of the all of the arguments that he'd made in the previous uh, debate, all of the things that he'd said, all of the points that he'd brought up that I just found myself incapable of, of refuting. And I did a good deal of background digging into uh, the claims and the statements and the facts uh, that Dr. Hovind uh, presented, uh, thanks in part to his very excellent website, uh, www.drdino.com, uh, which I uh, can uh, highly recommend. And I started to think about the way I'd taught evolution in the past, about all of the students of mine, some of whom are here tonight, whom I'd bullied and brainwashed and intimidated and you know, generally tried to make feel bad because I couldn't get them to convert to my own particular mode of thinking. And I thought about the way that, it, you know, the, the senseless waste of taxpayer money for, for me to go in and act like an indoctrinator rather than an educator, and the way I've always insisted that my students accept this because it seems so right to me. Well, well, this is not particularly easy for me to say. It's not always easy to talk with your, with your foot this firmly uh, planted in, in one's mouth. Uh, but I want to make a public promise right now. I really don't want to make this a typical adversarial name-calling, uh, angry, uh, mocking debate the way I sort of remember the last one as having been. What I'd like to do is make this a learning experience because from here on out, whenever I teach my evolution class, which I have to do because it's what they hired me for, I want to add a creation science section to it. And I want to learn about what it is I should be teaching because I come from a very secular background. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Still on? Great. Um, you know, the high school I went to was a public high school in, in Louisiana, great education capital of the world that it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And things like this just weren't covered in um, uh, weren't weren't covered in, in my high school. I, one friend of mine was actually taken to after school detention for saying the name of Jesus out loud. Uh, that's what the atmosphere there was like. I kid you not. And uh, of course, in my, my college education, first at Tulane and then at the, uh, the People's Republic of Berkeley, um, California, which is a little different from here, I might add, just, just a touch. Uh, of course, I was not exposed to things like this. So the reason I came here was not so much to defend my own case, because evolution is far past anything that I could say to defend it. Uh, what I really would like to do here is learn some of the things that I should be teaching, some of the things I should be presenting, and the ways in which I should be presenting it um, to make sure that all of my future classes are even and open-handed and non-intimidating to people of all persuasions who should happen to, uh, who should happen to take them. And so I really don't have anything else to say. I ended up not presenting a, a particularly strong defense, and I hope this doesn't um, 
upset the, uh, the presenters, we were told to make this a uh, debate. So in my own uh, feeble way, I will uh, do my best to answer any points that uh, Dr. Uh, Hovind here uh, brings up. But what I would like to do, and what I hope some of you will do, is, um, is simply to make this a learning experience for all, for us to learn about, um, well, in my case, learn about what I need to be covering better, which is, uh, which is the creation view. And I know that wasn't 15 minutes. Uh, this could mean we all get out of here a little early. Aw. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that. This is my 65th debate, and that's the first time I've had someone say they would like to be open-minded about it. And I really appreciate that. And I will come at my expense to speak to your class anytime you'd like. Okay? Let me know.